Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with one I've been wanting to bring you for a little bit. Today we're going to review a Class A diesel motorhome and I'm talking about a nice one. Today guys we're going to review a 2005 Holiday Rambler Ambassador 40 PLQ. Four slides, quad slides, got 72,000 miles, beautiful condition, beautiful colors, got a kind of an unusual floor plan that I don't think I've reviewed before exactly like this um, well let's get technical stuff out of the way uh, built on a Roadmaster RR8R chassis so it's not the one under the recall list it's got the eight outward bound airbags eight airbag suspension eight air shocks sitting on a perfect set of Goodyear tires they look great Got a 330 horsepower ISC Cummins diesel, 1,050 pound-feet of torque. Got a 10,000 pound tow capacity, six-speed Allison transmission, 8KW Onan diesel generator. Hoorah! <laughs> anyway, got all the right equipment that you want, guys. And, uh, of course, this is Monaco built. This is back when Holiday Rambler was built by Monaco Coach. In my humble opinion a lot better built than holiday rambler and monaco were built after rev group bopped them out so definitely um in fact the newer ones guys are just not the quality that this 05 is nine layer aluminum roof uh with nine layers of insulation five layer sidewall five layer floor system they don't do that in the new ones alcoa wheels uh, got a 2,000 watt uh, Xantrix inverter, 8 8kW uh, Onan diesel generator I got running right now, uh, 50 amp electrical service, got the three camera backup system. I love the colors on this thing. What do y'all think about that burgundy stripe, a red stripe on there? Got the chrome velvet mirrors. Of course, guys, you know, back in 2005, MSRP was just shy of $200,000 on this. $198 to be exact. And just for S&Gs, I went and looked on the Holiday Rambler, the 2021 models, which are built by an entirely different manufacturer now, with a lot less quality. In fact, it's, it's only got a 10 horsepower, more powerful motor, the equivalent of this in a 2021 model. And it was $318,000. So that's how much new RV prices have gone up from 05 to 2021 and continuing to go up today. It's got a power awning. It's got a door awning. I think, I believe the door awning is manual, but the main patio awning is power. All your slide toppers, Goodyear tires, of course, hydraulic leveling jacks, 10 gallon DSI gas electric water heater. This is a high, uh, very high dollar full body paint job that Holiday Rambler puts on these. These aren't stripes. And you can tell this thing's been stored inside when it wasn't being used. Let's look inside, guys. And I'll go over this floor plan with you. And it's factory. Got the original sculptured carpet in it that's, you know, it's showing its age a little bit, but it's still in great shape now. The previous owners, or one of the previous owners, at one time took the carpet out of the main area and put linoleum floor down it's not the best job in the world but i mean it's nothing that's certainly not worth replacing right now unless you just want to um but it does have one or two little spots where they did obviously didn't put it down right but um but all in all it's not bad look at this gorgeous floor plan guys very very open up here in the front cab, believe it or not, the dash air is ice cold. Uh, Weldix. Uh, backup camera system. Now, this is the first generation. First generation triple backup camera. So, you know, back then, they didn't work with your blinkers. Of course, I got to wipe the lens off on the rear one. But here's what's cool about it, guys. The rear one, I don't know if you can see it on here or not. You can adjust the camera up and down. And, you know, back then, you know, now you hit the blinkers and the cameras come on to show your blind spot. Back then, you had to flip a switch. 
left camera, right camera. But it works the same. You know, if you're in a spot, you're not sure if somebody's beside you, just click the camera over real quick before you make your turn. Dash air is ice cold, no check engine lights, brake lights on, because obviously I got the parking brake on because as many of you know, Allison transmissions don't have a park setting. You put them in neutral, you set your parking brake. And uh, it's got the automatic traction control, um, fog lights, it's got the power shades. It's got the exhaust brake, diesel exhaust brake, which is really a handy thing to have. Um, got the adjustable pedals, you can see the driver's side, passenger side. Windshield looks good. I don't see any cracks or anything in it. Uh, I'm sure the TV's been updated over the years. Got a flat screen TV, Sony CD player. Looks like they've added some vent fans up here. Um, you know, that wasn't factory, but um, they've added a few little things and you know, that's normal. You know, I mean, it, it is a 16 year old motor home, but my gosh, folks, look at what this thing cost back then. Look what it costs now new. And then look what I got this one for. A big difference. Um, of course, the 8KW generator running right now. Front captain's chairs are flex steel swivel uh, or swivel chairs, and they're in very nice condition. This is back when they actually put high quality material on upholstery back then. So they don't do now. Uh, that same crap that you see the flaking furniture problem is. The same exact brand that, that all the other, even Holiday Rambler puts on their coaches now. That back then, they they put the higher end stuff. I don't think this chair right here is original, but this is cool, guys. This floor plan is set up for those of you who want a vacation or full time, but you need an office. And this thing doesn't have just one office. It's got two office areas. Your first one's kind of hid right here. And you can swivel this seat around, and this is your desk right here. And uh, you swivel the seat around, which uh, it's hard to do one-handed. You've got a keyboard tray that comes out right here for a keyboard and a computer. And then you've got drawer space, storage space, all that good stuff, uh, plug-ins and more. So if you got his, if you need his and her offices, you know, I know a lot of people now are full-timing, so they're looking... You know, a lot of companies require you to have a dedicated office space in your home, whether it's a uh, sticks and bricks home or it's a, uh, a rolling mobile home, like an RV. So you've got to have a dedicated office area. A lot of times they don't want you working at the kitchen table. They want you to have a desk. So uh, definitely that's a cool feature to have. you got your own little small office there, but you got a big one in the back. And of course, before we get in there, you've got a leather sleeper sofa solid wood these are all solid wood cabinets corian countertops or solid surface countertops you know the corian is actually the name brand by dupont not the you know, they call them technically solid surface countertops no stress cracks you know with those eight airbags and eight uh, outward bound shocks you got a soft riding coach and that's a good one with seventy two thousand miles this thing didn't ride right you wouldn't you'd have cracks all over these microwave and convection oven so you can bake in as well as my as microwave something i like the skylight right here we can let some natural light into here and you can see how thick that nine layer roof system is it's got double ducted roof airs uh one both of them i believe are 13 fives and they do the, i've got them on right now they're doing a fantastic job got the big refrigerator um and this is, uh, like I said, we haven't even cleaned it out yet, guys. There's still some stuff in here, I apologize, but it's cold. They plugged it up uh, when we parked it the other day and they plugged it up and the refrigerator was left on. Honestly, it's probably my driver's drinks because they always keep stuff in the fridge when they're uh, driving down the road so it stays cold. And this is ice cold, already at operating temp. I just forgot my thermometer, guys. I apologize about that, but I can guarantee you that refrigerator's cold. And we're gonna to walk to the bathroom area. And you got a solid surface countertop here. Uh, medicine cabinet. I guess I could've turned some lights on in here. Um, shower, it's not bleach yellow. So right there's another sign, which you can tell obviously from the outside that this thing's been kept undercover and in storage 
when not being used and that's an advantage of buying a motorhome guys that cost more new than your standard RV because the type of person that in 2005 or 2004 could go out and afford to spend two hundred thousand dollars on a motorhome is the type of person that can afford to have a building or a shed built for it to keep it out of the weather now you go back you go back then where you could buy a new class a for 50 or 60 grand you know an entry-level class a or even less than that uh you know that type of person probably doesn't have the means to put and i'm not judging anybody but may not have the means to keep their unit out of the weather if they did they'd be buying a lot more expensive motorhome and another way i can tell too is look at the wallpaper border in here guys you see how it's not peeling around the edges that's factory wallpaper border if this thing had been in exposed to extreme heat like from the sun beating down on it all the time the edges would be peeling on that especially after 16 years but the fact that it doesn't have that also tells me this thing has probably been kept in some kind of out of the weather maybe even climate controlled storage who knows uh porcelain rv toilet sea land which was the number one toilet to buy back then also the most expensive toilet you could buy back then and this is what's cool guys this bedroom and office area is one of the largest you're going to find on any type class a motorhome or even a fifth wheel guys this is a monster rear bedroom you got the french door for privacy and you've got these shades on them so you are completely closed off from the rest of the rv Two of your slides are in here. You've got a Queen Island bed. It's got a headboard. Uh, you've got your own AC system back here, which you can use the cool jet to duct it right here, or you can close it off and it goes into the ductwork. You've got a step up right here, and this is your office or whatever you want to use it for, guys. Um, you've got a full, almost a full-size desk in here. You've got room in here for whatever else you need to put in here, guys. Chair right here. And uh, so if you need, if you still need to work while you're playing out in your RV, well, this is a great choice for you guys. If you work for a company that requires you to have a dedicated office, well, here it is. And plus you're away from everybody. Nobody's got a reason to be around here while you're working. Uh, the foot of the bed, got some uh, TV, additional storage closet space storage underneath the bed got a ceiling fan which is always a nice thing to have in a bedroom individual reading lamps i uh, believe this is some kind of air mattress that works um, wow and get this price guys motorhome like this especially in the current market you would expect to be priced for 70 grand 75,000 maybe even 79.9 but look at this price guys 59.9 unfortunately though it does not come with a warranty um it has to be a year newer soon to be right now it has to be 06 and newer to get a warranty through our warranty company but here in another month or two they're going to switch over to 07 so we'll be 07 and newer to get a warranty of course That'll be an extra 30, 40 grand to go from an 05 to an 07. So really not worth it. It's a nice coach, guys. We're still going to do our world famous four page inspection process, which is performed after purchase. And I'll put a link below in the video description if you want to see everything that that warranty process or that uh, checkout process entitles you. Uh, and you can see everything we're going to inspect and guarantee to work for the price you pay. The most thorough in the industry guys there's no other dealer on the planet that's going to take a 16 year old motor home and put it through that kind of inspection process now keep in mind guys we are on an extreme delay our business is booming um, because of the pandemic and inventory shortage y'all seen the video i did i think yesterday where i went around the lot i've got half the inventory i should have right now and everything I've got and half the stuff I got's already sold or deposits. So please keep in mind guys, you know, thanks to everybody, you know, a lot of employees quitting to live off the government. Right now I've only got half a crew. So we're doing twice the business with half the people, half the employees, and I'm trying to get more. And I've got new guys here, but they're still going through their break in period. And um but things will get better once they get ramped up to speed. 
but guys you know we want to do a good job we don't want to just give it a lick and a promise and give you the keys like other dealers do until you here you go we want to make sure everything's right for you you know we have to order parts parts we're in the worst part shortage in the rv industry if you didn't already know in the 53 years we've been in business parts that i used to be able to get a year and a half ago the next day takes six to nine weeks to get and when we run across a part we need that was not readily available guys we got no choice but to wait just like you do and um that being said and i'm being completely honest with you because i want you to know up front what you're facing if you do decide to get the full inspection which is entirely up to you expect a 30 to 45 day wait and i'd rather tell you up front so you can make your buying decision based on that information besides getting surprised later now that being said i know not everybody wants to wait 30 to 45 days i know a lot of people have owned rvs before they've got basic repair knowledge they know where to get things fixed if they can't fix themselves i'm one of those people um myself and i highly encourage if you're that type of person to take advantage of the as is price now guys the the 59.9 price is an excellent price it is low considering all this motor home that you're getting for under sixty thousand dollars in the current market this thing's a gift almost to sixty thousand dollars however like i said it's 30 to 45 day wait and that's include all that stuff is included with the 59.9 price if you want to take a chance and save some money and be able to use your motorhome a whole lot faster we have what we call an option b price and that is a strictly as is price now guys let me clarify this as is means as is it doesn't matter there's no exceptions to it as is is as is there's no uh there's no way you can uh misunderstand that term it's self-explaining in uh, other words guys you buy it just as it says now we will allow you to crank it up test drive it will allow you to you know test drives monday through friday only we don't do test drives on saturday we're closed sundays so please keep that in mind uh, we do allow you to crank a generator up turn everything on plug it into shore power turn your acs your airs your lights play with your slides we'll have water in the tank or we'll put water in the tank so you can check the plumbing system before deciding to buy it as is and you know you may say hey i only found i found nothing wrong with it let's let me save some money and i'll take it just like it says or you may say i only found one or two little things that i can fix myself in a couple hours at home take the discounted price and take that money and put it toward any repairs you may or may not have to do to the coach i promise you guys chances are you're going to have money left over in your pocket when you take in other words guys i'm going to discount this thing for an as-is price you're not going to spend that much money checking it out or repairing stuff on it now guys you know you know and i, and I, and I say that because of course at the same time for those of you who've owned rvs like me you know there's always going to be little things on the rv that you have to fix that don't work and no matter how many times you fix them you fix one thing something else happens that's part of owning an rv it doesn't matter how much you spend doesn't matter what your model it is what brand you're making model it they're all the same guys there's always going to be little things here and there that you got to fix and that's just part of owning one and that's why anybody that owns an rv especially ones like this needs to have some basic mechanical knowledge about fixing stuff i mean you don't have to be a rocket science a college professor or a certified rv tech to own an rv but it helps to know basic repair skills like any homeowner would have like how to wire in a light switch um how to change a faucet things that most of us already know and you just have to apply it to an rv and um, if you can't do that you might want to reconsider owning an rv or learn how to do those basic things because right now guys dealer service departments are weeks out parts are weeks sometimes months out so a lot of times there's no sense paying an rv tech hundred something dollars an hour to do what you can do in 30 minutes with a just a basic assortment of hand tools and that's not always going to be the case but and i'm just being straight up honest with you guys you know rvs is something there's always going to be a cabinet a latch a switch a, 
a light, a faucet, something here, something there, drip here. This needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed, and you can buy a brand new one and have the same problems. So, and a lot of times, even with it, you know, even with a brand new one with a warranty, you take a new, you take a new RV back to the RV dealership for warranty repairs, it's going to sit for weeks before they touch it. For something, a lot of times that you can fix yourself in a couple hours in a minimum investment. So, and I'm just being honest with you guys, because I've, I've been in that situation. I've got one now that I'm still working on that I bought months ago, um, still fixing stuff on it. But I am planning on taking a vacation in it very soon. Um, probably toward the end of summer, maybe even early fall, once I get all the bugs worked out. And uh, I'm going to take a little trip. So, <laughs> in fact, I may take two vacations. You never know. Uh, but uh, so don't be surprised if you see me go a week without a video here in the near future because I will be out enjoying my RV. Once I get everything fixed. But guys, this is a nice unit for the price. $59.9 with a full checkout or if you want it uh, for the as-is price, give us a call. Uh, I don't give as-is prices on my videos because it confuses people. When I start advertising two prices, we tried it a couple of years ago. I got more complaints over that. Well, uh, this price, I don't understand what the difference between these two prices are. So it's just easier to say, hey, I'll, I'll advertise the higher price, the 59.9 price, tell you the benefits of it, and if you want to take advantage of the as-is price, you know, you may have to do a few little things to it, but you get to take, you get to save money, you get to take it home the same day you pay for it, so that's your advantages right there. And chances are you're going to save the money. The money you save will pay for any repairs and still leave money left over in your pocket uh, after you do them. So, and um, if you're interested in option B price. That's why I don't give it. I ask that you call for that price. 706-965-7929. Um, that way, my salespeople may be able to clarify the difference better than I can um, between the option A uh, checkout price and the option B as is price. But 59 is a price, guys. We do have financing available with approved credit and down payments. That's something we think you're interested in pursuing. Uh, I do, uh, just a little tidbit, guys, anytime you want to go to a dealership's finance department, just check with your local bank or credit union that you normally do business with and see what kind of deals they offer you, interest rate, terms, and all that stuff, just so you have a basic comparison. You know, us, we're different than other RV dealerships, obviously. I tell it to you like it is. I don't sugarcoat anything. Other RV dealerships, when you come in apply for a loan for financing, they see dollar signs, and those dollar signs aren't from the profit from selling you the unit. Those dollar signs on how much money they're going to overcharge you for financing. Because here's the thing, guys. You go to Rip Off World, and the corporate dealers are the world's worst about this. Uh, you go to these dealerships, and you apply for financing. You submit a credit app there in the office. They, uh, they give it to the finance manager. finance manager sends it to the banks. You lost all control of it at that point. Because once it's submitted, you have no contacts with the banks whatsoever. It's not like where you call your local bank, hey, I need to buy this used car. What kind of rating terms can I get? Da, 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 da. You know, when you when you lose that control, you have, you're not dealing with the bank anymore. The dealer is. You don't know what the bank's telling the dealer. All you know is what the dealer's telling you. The bank said, all right, we, the great credit, we got you approved at a 5.99 rate. And the dealer says, well, I'm going to mark it up to 7.99. Bank says, okay, because the bank gets a kickback from that, and the dealer gets about 75 or 80% of the extra profit for marking that interest rate up two points. And not only that, but here comes the upsells. Now, of course, 05, there's not going to be much you can get, but um, on a newer model, they'll come out and say, all right, we'll sell it to you for this advertised price. If you go through this bank, which we've got you approved at, of course, they've got the interest rate marked up the 2 3 4%, whatever they think they can get you to pay. And they said, well, you also got to buy a five-year extended warranty. You got to buy gap insurance. You know, here's a menu with different payments on it. When they pull that menu out, you know what I do, guys? I stand up, shake their hands, says, thank you. I'll, uh, I'm going to pass and walk out. Because once they pull that menu and they start discussing different payments with different benefits, I know they're ripping me off. Payment 
goes hand in hand with the amount financed. Your ideal thing is to finance the least amount as possible. Um, if you want insurance or gap insurance, if you want exterior and interior protection plans, if you want extended warranties, guys, buy that stuff for cash after you make your deal. Because A, the dealership's paying the same amount you are for those same services, or that you can pay if you research it yourself, but they're marking it up two or three times dealer cost, and then they're adding it to the loan with a marked up interest rate. So it's just a huge profit for them that you're paying out of your pocket. You're gonna pay. That's how you go in and buy something price $60,000, call the bank the next day, you owe 80,000 plus on it, on something that was advertised for 59.9. It happens to people every single day. And I see it once or twice a week when people try to trade these units in, but they got ripped off on and they owe tens of thousands of dollars more than what they paid for two or three years ago after paying on it for that long. So guys, it's, it's you know, nothing a dealer offers you is done, is they, they don't offer you anything without a massive amount of profit involved. You go to a dealership like corporate dealers, they're gonna charge you a price, they're gonna charge you dock fees, prep fees, freight fees, happy camper fees, da 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 da, you, you, know, you know, any name they come up with guys, processing fees, franchise fees, they're all 100% dealer profit. Guys, here, 59 nine's a price with a full checkout, with an orientation that's done after it's been through service and cleanup. Um, includes uh, 21 nights free camping up seven nights at a time. Includes drive out tag starter kit and more for 59 nine plus applicable sales tax. If you are a Georgia resident, you do have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to $50 tag and title fee, but that's it. That's for Georgia residents only. Everybody else just pays the sales price and applicable sales tax. Easy, simple, done. No games, no gimmicks, no drama, no hurt feelings. This is the price. Doesn't matter if you live five miles down the street, next door to us, or 2,500 miles away on the other side of the country. This is the price. Uh, we have nationwide delivery available. We have financing available with approved credit and down payment. If you're interested in either one of those, give us a call. We'll give you the latest information about that. Um, and tell you how you can fill out a credit app online and get the credit process started. We take trade-ins. So, guys, been here 53 years. We're obviously doing something right. 53 years in business, family owned and operated three generations. Um, pretty soon, probably have the fourth generation started working here. So, guys, we've always been here for you, always going to be. We don't, you know, we sell five to 600 used units a year because of our no-nonsense, straightforward sales tactics you come here and look nobody will bother you guys you try to do that at ripoff world you just pull up in their lot park where you want and start looking at inventory with the price clearly wrote on the windshield without having to talk to a salesperson or go through a sales office you can't here you can you can look as long as you want as many as you want as many types as you want if you need anything all you got to do is pick up your phone call the office uh, tell to ask them to send a salesperson out to where you're at or pop your head in the showroom and one of my guys when they're available will help you out no pressure whatsoever guys and the reason why we have no pressure especially right now in the current market way more buyers than there are inventory because if you if you pass on one the next person will buy it that's just the way it goes guys you pass on this one and you look at another one, the person waiting on you to finish looking at it is going to come right in and buy it. And it happens pretty much every week, every day here. So keep that in mind. These things are for sale nationwide. And again, there are way more buyers for used RVs than there are inventory. Uh, especially in this price range, guys. 59.9 for this quality of coach with this much amenities is amazing. Now, the only thing weird about it doesn't have washer and dryer or washer and dryer hookups, but big deal. And you got, um, you know, you got washed areas and things like that at campgrounds. And me, I'd rather have all this extra space and worry about a washer and dryer that only does a load of clothes the size of a pair of jeans and two t-shirts at a time and it takes several hours to dry them. I'd rather have this much space in this layout. Oh, that air feels good. Anyway, guys, thank y'all again for watching. If you got any questions, call us 706-965-7929, our website, which is in the link below. 
it's parkwayrvcenter.com so you can see my current inventory of used RVs. Make sure to smash me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment. Feel free to share on social media. Uh, feel free to uh, give me inter uh, subscribe. Any interaction you give me, guys, is helps YouTube share my videos and it helps support my channel and um guys thank y'all again for watching i really appreciate each and every one of y'all um i'm approaching you know God, it's hard to believe i'm at almost twenty nine thousand subscribers and approaching the thirty thousand dollar mark that's i never would have dreamed that 11 years ago when i started doing this but hey hard work thousands and thousands of videos in my archive for you to look at of course most of them say sold but you can still look at them and it's interesting to me to go through my old videos and just see how things have changed, RVs have changed, prices have changed, and everything else has changed over the past 11 years. And uh, But anyway, guys, thank y'all again for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate every one of y'all. And come out and visit with us. You'd be happy you did. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, 9 to 5 closed on sunday for the lord's day and family days of course our address is 5568 battlefield parkway ringgold georgia um in case the accent didn't give it away um but thank you again and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia